action figure enthusiasts out there, JC here with another TNI news video. And as always, we've got a lot to cover today, so let's just jump right into it. And first thing I wanted to do was go on and share new images released by Hasbro yesterday for their X-Men movie figures that they announced first announced back during Toy Fair in February. So I told you these were coming. If you've been watching my news videos recently, I, I mentioned how these were gonna be coming and coming up for pre-order very soon. They are available now for pre-order at places like our sponsor, Big Bad Toy Store. Now the figures that we got the updated images on include the Logan figure with this leather jacket as he wore in the first X-Men movie. And then the Mystique figure, which is only based on Mystique from the first X-Men movie. It is not based on the later uh, Jennifer Lawrence version. And then also the Magneto and Professor Xavier 2-packs. So again, these are available for pre-order now. Uh, we really didn't even get like a news announcement. It was They just went up for pre-order yesterday uh, with the new images and everything. So they just kind of uh, put these out. I do think maybe Hasbro Pulse put up a, an interview with Dwight Stull on their Pulse website, a written interview uh, later in the day. But basically we just got the updated images. Now the thing to note, uh, like some of you have noted, uh, the, the wheelchair for Professor X does not seem to be movie accurate. Uh, the wheels, uh, you know, in the movie, his, uh, the, the wheels had like X's in them. And these are just look like regular wheels. So I don't know if that's something Hasbro will fix before the final release. But uh, definitely that's not quite movie accurate. You get the head sculpts, both the older versions and the younger versions. You get, uh, like with Magneto, you get the helmeted and unhelmeted version of, of both the young and the old Magneto. And, you know, based on these new images, you know, head sculpts are kind of iffy in my opinion at best. Um, but I, I would still be interested in the Magneto and the Professor X 2-pack, assuming we got the uh, actual X-Men in their leather outfits. I really feel like that is something that we need to get in order for me to be interested in getting this particular 2-pack. Now, the figures, uh, the single pack figures, the Logan figure and the Mystique figure are going to cost you about 25 bucks, so they are more expensive than regular Marvel Legends. And then the and then the two pack is about fifty bucks. Now those of you who have been asking about the Deadpool movie figures that that they they showed at Toy Fair again, I've mentioned this before, but those should be going up for pre-order as I understand it. At least the regular release versions, which is the Deadpool figure, the Warhead figure, the Domino figure. Those are the three that should be released everywhere. Those should be going up for pre-order by end of month. The cable figure is is a Walmart exclusive, so I don't know exactly when when that figure will be available. Now I, I got to thinking, you know, we we still we're still waiting on an announcement of what this year San Diego Comic Con exclusives are going to be. That did not come yesterday, like uh, you know, back on last Friday when Hasbro had their live stream video. Based on their comments, I was thinking that's when they would announce it on Tuesday. But then when no further promotion of like a live stream, you know, I thought Hasbro was going to do another live stream on Tuesday. This was back on Friday. And I even kind of thought this still, you know, even Monday, I think I mentioned this, that, that you know, they would do a live stream where they would show off the updated images for these figures and give us details on the San Diego Comic-Con exclusives. But there was never, you know, whenever they do these live streams, there's always an announcement beforehand and that didn't come. And so definitely by, you know, early yesterday, late Monday, it was pretty apparent that, that they weren't going to be doing anything like that. And once that kind of came about it, to me, it was pretty clear that we weren't going to get details yet on the San Diego Comic-Con exclusives. I don't know when we are going to get those details. Probably, I'm guessing, tomorrow or maybe even as late as Friday morning. You know, again, Walmart is going to be launching their collector con thing where they're doing a lot of exclusives. They've got the banner showing that they're going to be doing some type of exclusives for Marvel Legends, Star Wars Black Series, Transformer War for Cybertron, and G.I. Joe. And uh, we just got an announcement today that Hasbro is doing a live stream event on Friday for both Transformers and G.I. Joe. The Transformers one takes place at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, 
and the G.I. Joe is going to take place at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, which is when that, that Walmart event is actually going to go live when the exclusives, they're going to start dropping the exclusives on the website, which I assume means make available for you to pre-order or purchase on, on, on Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. So, you know, I talked about this in the previous video, news video. So, with I, I'm guessing the reason why G.I. Joe and Transformers are getting a live stream event and probably Star Wars and, and Marvel are just going to get some type of news announcement that's going to probably come via some corporate media site either tomorrow or, you know, if they really want to wait till last minute, uh, wait till Friday morning. But, but, but the reason why I think G.I. Joe and Transformers are getting a live stream event because it's not just like Comic Con exclusives, it's actually a new line uh, for both Transformers and G.I. Joe. Uh, that they're supposedly going to be announcing, you know, with GI Joe, likely we're going to get the full details on the the um, on the retro line, the the three and three quarter inch uh, retro line that's going to be exclusive to Walmart. So um, that first wave is actually expected to go up, be start being available starting Friday morning. So that's why I think the GI Joe is getting a live stream. And the first wave is likely going to include Snake Eyes, Storm Shadow, a Baroness figure, and then two vehicles, a His Tank and an All Striker. We still don't know. You know, I'm I'm thinking these are probably going to be O Ring finger figures, but but um, maybe not. Maybe they're just 25th anniversary sculpts. Could be something totally different. Those are details I, I really don't know. We just know the three and three quarter inch. So. We'll have to wait and see uh, exactly what kind of three and three quarter inch but just gut feeling is telling me i mean they're calling this uh fan friday thing this live stream event for gi joe they're calling it a flashback and they've got it, an image from the original gi joe toy line so just gut feeling is making me think that these are going to be just reissues of o-ring figures of original gi joe o-ring figures doesn't do a lot for me. I still have, you know, they've done that before. Um, you know, I st I really kind of prefer the 25th. You can't see it, but I got my shelf of G.I. Joe 25th anniversary figures back there. So, you know, I I'm perfectly happy with those. I mean, if they came up with something new or really kind of unique or something, but I already have a His Tank. I have multiples of the three and three quarter inch His Tank that Hasbro's released over the years. I've got an All Striker that they did a couple years ago. So if it's just reissues of the original toys, you know, these are going to cost about 13 bucks, the figure. So, you know, I, I don't know. Um, you know, maybe I'll, I'll think differently when I see, see them, you know, when we actually get real looks at them. But right now, I'm just, for me personally, I'm not super pumped uh, for this line. Um, if, if it is what I, I'm kind of expecting it to be. And then for Transformers, I think what they're going to focus on is, and I, I believe I talked about this briefly in one of the recent news videos I did, but uh, where it is, they're going to be taking their studio series, which is essentially their detailed movie figure line, and they're going to start doing figures based on the original 80s animated movie. And so, and, and, and I believe these are going to be Walmart exclusives. So I think that's what the focus of the Transformers one is going to be. So I don't know if there's going to be actual San Diego Comic-Con exclusives per se for either brand, especially at Walmart. But, but I think that's what, you know, essentially we're going to be seeing from Walmart are those exclusive lines kicking off and, and us getting our, our first look at those figures. Now again with the Marvel, you know, we know there's supposed to be two San Diego Comic-Con exclusives for Marvel, one comic based and one movie based. I, you know, and again I'm expecting that's going to be revealed either tomorrow via like an IGN or what have you or like I said they might wait till Friday. Same thing with Star Wars, they've definitely said there's going to be a Star Wars San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Now with the Marvel, you know, one the comic book based one, I've talked about this multiple times is rumored and and my guess is likely going to be that something you know related to the hellfire club and then the marvel the second one that's supposed to be movie related i got to thinking you know we've got that cable figure that that was announced as a walmart exclusive i'm wondering if maybe they just decided to make that their their second san diego comic-con exclusive if if it was going to be released at walmart anyway Obviously, that wouldn't have been the original idea since back in February when they first announced the cable figure. You know, nobody thought San Diego was going to be canceled or, you know, knew about what was coming with COVID. So, you know, or that Walmart was going to be selling San Diego Comic-Con exclusives essentially this year. So, 
So if 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 the cable figure ends up being their second San Diego Comic Con exclusive, and and again, this is just purely my speculating. I, I have no information on this per se, um, but if it ended up being what that's what they ended up doing, and my thought behind it is somebody says you know in marketing said hey. We've already got this cable figure that's getting ready to come out, and we've already said, you know, we're selling it through Walmart. Walmart's doing this collector con thing now. Let's call it a San Diego Comic Con exclusive and offer it through that um, to just kind of build up demand for it. And, you know, I don't know if that would work, you know, but, but you know, it seems to be a line of thinking that if you label something San Diego Comic Con exclusive, people will be more interested in it. So I don't know. Again, we'll, we'll find out either probably tomorrow or Friday at the latest. When the wall, you know, if, if nothing else, when the Walmart site goes live, you know, because again, they definitely have that banner on the Walmart website that has the Marvel Legend logo. So we're going to see something, you know, now will everything be on Walmart or will they split things up? That's another question. Will these be available at physical stores or just online? That's another question. You know, those are just details we're going to have to wait and see. Now, the Yak Face guys, uh, if you follow yakface.com, they've actually posted a rumor, and I, I've done no checking into this, so I have absolutely no idea how legit this is, but they're reporting that there's indications that Hasbro is going to do a, a exclusive, Comic-Con exclusive, six-inch Black Series Wampa figure, which, of course, we've already gotten in the Black Series line before, so if this is legit, I would guess it's going to be in retro Kenner S type packaging. But, you know, I, I don't know. But what I really actually found a little more interesting was is they indicated that this figure would be released on Hasbro Pulse, which if true, that's an indication that not all the Hasbro exclusives are going to be uh, made available just on Walmart. So um, well, we'll just have to wait and see. Now, while we're on the subject of Comic-Con exclusives, Storm Collectibles has gone on and announced their two Mortal Kombat 112 scale figures that they're releasing as uh, summer 2020 event exclusives, which basically means Comic-Con exclusives. And these are going to be uh, re released. You're, you're going to be able to pre-order them uh, basically starting on July 22nd, between July 22nd and July 26th on the Bluefin brands. That's the distributor for Storm Collectibles here in the United States. And that's where you'll be able to pre-order these two Mortal Kombat figures, which are essentially what they would have released at, at Comic-Con this year. So we're getting a new updated uh, Scorpion figure that's said to have a newly developed body with new joints. You're going to have the interchangeable head and the skull head with the flaming effects, which I actually think looks really cool here. You've got interchangeable hands with it, and you've got his chain, of course. So, you know, they've done, you know, we've gotten quite a different number of Scorpion figures, but we're getting a new one with a new body. Uh, the other figure they announced is the Raiden figure with the red. We saw this figure on display at some of the conventions. So uh, that is the second figure that they're doing is, is the Raiden with the red outfit on. Mattel announced a new Mega Constructs Comic-Con exclusive for you Halo fans. It is a collection of different versions of the armor and you get some nice packaging and everything with this set and it's going to cost you about 20 bucks so if you're a halo fan you're probably going to want to check that one out now all the mattel exclusives and again i mentioned this in the last video um, even if you missed out on some of them went up for pre-order the jurassic world one and the wwe elite series one had a brief pre-order up on entertainment earth but if you missed out on those or you're interested in any of the other mattel exclusives that they do and i don't know if they've revealed all their exclusives yet there may be still more to come i'm kind of hoping they do something for masters of the universe origins but the Mattel exclusives are going to be available on Mattel's new website, which is called Mattel's Creation, which actually hasn't even launched yet. If you go to the website, it's just a countdown page. But um, that's where you're going to be able to get the Mattel exclusives this year. McFarlane Toys uh, this week, Todd McFarlane uh, released this image on his social media showing what appears to be a new Spawn Cygor figure. Now, when I first saw this image, I was kind of excited. I thought maybe this was a hint of a new mass-produced spawn line. You know, we've got the Kickstarter version, and we've got the Mortal Kombat 11 spawn figure. But I knew Cygor hadn't been in, really been in the Mortal Kombat 11 game, so I didn't think they would do Cygor for that line. As it turns out, this is for a mass-produced line, but it's not really spawn-related. This is really the only spawn-related character that they're doing. This is really more of a kid's line. You know, on the packaging, it clearly says 12 and older. And the other fit, you know, basically they've taken 
certain types of animals and added cybernetic type pieces to them, uh, which is what Cygor basically is, which is why I guess he gets included. But, you know, the others is a raptor and a cobra, and there's even a shark. And no, I, as far as I can tell, uh, this image, uh, it was put out by a, a Hong Kong distributor a couple months ago. Uh, so it's been kind of floating around, but I don't think the shark has laser beams on it. Maybe it does. I don't know. But from this image, it doesn't look like. But the line uh, looks like it's called Raw 10. And again, this is really more of a kids friendly line. So, you know, you know, if you are into spawn, you may still be interested in this uh, Cygor figure. But as you can see from this image, it really does not seem to have much in the way of articulation. So uh, it is pretty much a statue like type figure. I'm still waiting to see if that uh, that DC Multiverse uh, Metals uh, Red Death Batman figure. We're still waiting to see if that's going to end up being released as one of the Comic Con exclusives on the Walmart website. Still haven't heard anything, but you know, I'm assuming if if that ends up being the case, we'll just see it on the Walmart website come Friday. Um, I'm not really expecting any major announcement or anything for that. Uh, to come beforehand so we'll just need to tune into that walmart website on friday and see if that figure is offered uh, but just to recap you know that we've seen you know they had this image up on the the mcfarland toys website it said the figure was available for pre-order at walmart but that was the only figure out of the five that was not actually available for pre-order they since when they you know after they first posted it they since pulled that image down off the mcfarland toy website so i guess you know somebody pulled the wrong you know posted the wrong image and it wasn't supposed to include the the red death figure we'd seen the red death figure uh, prototype images leak out months ago but then uh, they did not include official images when they released official images for the other four figures. And so again, there's really just been this mystery of how this figure is actually gonna be released. I have no doubt that it's going to be released, but, but exactly how and when, that still remains questionable. But it seems like a likely, a, a good, strong, just logical possibility is that it will be offered uh, come Friday as one of those San Diego Comic-Con exclusives. And if it does, you know, I'll be sure to update you guys on both Toy News International, and I'm probably going to end up doing a news video on Friday where, where I'll talk about this stuff in more detail. NECA has offered some more updates on their Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle line. So first, contrary to what I reported in the last news video, which is what NECA had said, those Turtle 2-packs, the 90s movie 2-packs, which are being offered as Walmart exclusives, are going to be made available online, however, not on the Walmart website. NECA has somehow managed to secure some of these to be able to sell on their own NECA store website. And I'm a little confused on that because they have said previously that their licensing agreement prevents them from selling here in the US. These figures, they have to be sold through an exclusive store. So I'm not exactly sure how they work this out. As I've talked about, I believe in the last news video, NECA seems to be you know, having some issues with Walmart and have been trying to work through those as far as online orders. And so, you know, it looks like they have worked out some type of deal where where they're going to be able to offer a lot of these Walmart exclusive figures on their own NECA store website. So with with the Turtle 2 packs starting tomorrow, which is uh, July 16th, a Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, you will be able to go to the NECA store. This is for both U.S. customers and international customers. You are going to be able to go onto the NECA store website and order these figures. I don't know how many they're going to have. I don't know how long they're going to last. But if you want to, if you don't have to go into a physical Walmart store and try and get your hands on these, and these have started to hit physical Walmart stores. I've seen people starting to find these, so they are out there. But if you don't want to have to deal with the Walmart store, then uh, be on NECA's uh, online store starting tomorrow, again, July 16th at 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time, and you hopefully will be able to get your hands on those. Now, for the, the Target exclusive figures, those the first two-pack of Wave 3 that they're going to be offering this week on Friday is going to be the Casey Jones and uh, Foot Soldier uh, two-pack. I talked about how they were going to be breaking up the three figures, the three two-packs in the third wave and releasing them on various dates. The, the two other remaining two-packs are going to be released in August. But the first one is due out this Friday and will uh, be available both online and at physical stores. And that I'm being, uh, it looks like NECA is reporting that will be available to US customers on target.com starting at 2 p.m. Eastern time. 
So if you want to try and get these online, and that's that's where I'm going to be at 2 p.m. Eastern on Friday is trying to get these because I, I don't even think I'm going to have time to be able to go out to Target on, on Friday because I'm going to be covering too much uh, stuff as far as Comic-Con reveals and stuff. So uh, exclusive reveals and stuff from Walmart and such. So I'm going to be trying to get this uh, these online. So this is both the Casey Jones and the Foot Soldier 2-pack. And then the other Turtle product that's going to be available on Friday for uh, Target is the the deluxe Metalhead figure. And both of the, I've seen both of these starting to show up in stores. I've seen some people already finding these fi figures at physical stores. But again, if you want to try and get these online, you're going to want to be on the Target website starting at, at uh, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, according to NECA. That's what they're saying. Hopefully that will be the case. Again, I don't know how many they're going to have. I don't know how long they're going to last. Hopefully longer than six seconds like we've seen with the previous sets. But, but we'll just have to wait and see. But again, NECA, just as I was filming this video, made the announcement that for the Turtle Movie 2 Packs, be on the NECA website tomorrow on Thursday at 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time. And then for the Target stuff, the Casey Jones and Foot Soldier and the, the Metalhead figure, be on the Target website at 2 p.m. Eastern Time so that hopefully you'll be able to get your hands on those. I'm not interested in the movie figures, but I definitely want to get the Casey Jones Foot Soldier and the Metalhead Deluxe figure. And while we're on the subject of turtles, another piece of news I wanted to go and share with you really isn't toy related, but but I thought it was cool nevertheless and, and came out today I wanted to share with you. And that is, is that the character known as Usagi Ujumbo, which is a character that has been often featured in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, wasn't specifically created for turtles, but but uh, basically the character's creator, Stan Saki, uh, Sake, I, I think that's how you pronounce his last name, sorry if I butchered it, but uh, he created the character, the character's had his own uh, comic book series in the past, um, and then, you know, basically he was brought into the turtles world, and has crossed over many times. So um, he's getting his own animated series, uh, Usagi Jumbo, and he's a samurai rabbit if you're not familiar with him. He's getting his own animated series coming to Netflix. It's a CGI series, and it should be uh, coming out next year. So uh, I think I'm pretty sure. I mean, Usagi has appeared in some of the Turtle cartoons, but he's never had his own series before. So this would mark his first time getting his own series. He's had his own comic book series. You know, he started out with his own comic book series, but, but he's never had his own animated series. Now, just keeping it a little bit toy related, you know, NECA, you know, Randy Falk in that interview he did with uh, Pixel Dan uh, back in May, you know, he mentioned how they were looking to do a Usagi Ujumbo figure for their Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle line. It wasn't 100% done deal, but, but they, you know, was pretty hopeful that that figure would happen. Hopefully this won't derail that, you know, just licensing and stuff. Hopefully, you know, that's not going to keep a Usagi Ujumbo figure from happening in the Turtles line. I know one of the holdups was that NECA had to finish negotiating the rights for the character from, from its creator stand. So, you know, now that Netflix is, is doing uh, its own series, you know, like I said, I'm just hoping that doesn't throw a monkey wrench into things. Definitely glad he's getting his own series, but hoping that Usagi Ujumbo figure still happens from NECA. Okay, so that's it for today. I probably won't be talking to you guys again here on YouTube until Friday. You know, again, we've got those, uh, Wal you know, Walmart is saying they've got 70 exclusives they're going to be selling on Friday. So, you know, a lot of them, you know, are going to be just little knickknack things, I think. But, but I think there's probably going to be some cool stuff. So we'll talk about that on Friday. We'll talk about whatever Hasbro reveals in their fan channel uh, events for Transformers and G.I. Joe. If between now and Friday there's an official announcement for uh, Marvel Legends and Star Wars with their San Diego Comic-Con exclusives, of course we'll be talking about that as well. And hopefully we'll start getting some details on exactly how a lot of these companies are going to handle their reveals of new product that they would normally have on hand at Comic-Con. You know, exactly how are they going to do that? I know there's the official San Diego Comic-Con at Home event. But the only toy company or the, the only toy companies that have official panels during that event are Mattel. They've got two panels, a WWE panel and then a more general panel. And then uh, Diamond Select Toys, I believe, has a panel scheduled during that as well. But Hasbro has no panels listed for that. NECA has no panels listed for that. So, you know, how these companies, you know, I'm sure they're going to handle it themselves through their own websites and stuff. But getting actual details on when, 
where, how, and such would be really good. So hopefully that st information will be coming very soon as well. Okay, guys, so leave a comment, like the video. Don't forget I have that contest. A couple more days left to enter the contest to win $100 store credit here on YouTube. Uh, that contest ends on the 19th, and I do have details to the video where I talk about you know how you enter and everything in the comment section below. So check that out, or, or in the video description below, I should say. And you know, like I said, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you're alerted every time I upload a new video. Stay safe out there, and until next time, guys, I'll catch you later. Hey, thanks for watching today's video, and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that bell notification so you're alerted every time I upload a new video. And be sure to head over to the Toy News International and Marvelous News Message Sports Communities. It's a great place to talk toys and win cool contests like $100 store credits to Big Bad Toy Store. And remember, action figures are great.